please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. Dave Williams, Secret Service contractor here with today's video, the Panigale 959. Remember when the all-conquering superbike from Ducati was a 916? And then a 996? And now we have a 959. What a world. As always, the setup information in these videos can actually be applied to many bikes, but it is very helpful to see that done on your own bike if you own a 959. But don't be discouraged, you can apply these principles even if you've got a CBR 600 or a 636. First up is a red one, a 2016 that a guy bought used, it's got about 6,000 miles on it, and the suspension is all jacked to the moon. Then a 959 that a guy had Dave tuned before was at an event where Dave was again about a year later and gets a freshening. The next 959 features a great lesson in trying to figure out why a bike has an appropriate sag number or even maybe a little too soft sag in the forks but doesn't use all the travel. Our fourth 959 is a Ducati Corsa model so that has ooh Olin's forks and the TTX shock. Our last one is also a 2018, but it has standard suspension. Now, in this one, there's some tire reading, and it's a good uh, illustration of the difference between the sandy beach pattern, tire wear pattern you want on your rear tire, versus the moon crater, the one that looks like it's kind of craterish. Doesn't have that sandy beach where the tide's gone out look. And they're right there to see, right next to each other. So it's an excellent tire wear reading video, along with all the other setup that goes along with these 959s that you can, you know, wrap your head around in this video. So here's a preview. My name is Dave Moss. I tune approximately 3,500 bikes per year. This is Two Click Sound. Now steal now the steal microphone, microphone. 16, 17, 16. 16, okay. And how many miles have you put on it? I've put on 300 maybe, I bought it used here with 6,000. Okay, easy. And then in terms of types of use, what do you do? Uh, weekends. Weekend I, every ride? Once in a while I commute to work with it just because I can. But sure. I don't, it's not a commute bike. I have my monster for that. Excellent. All right, so feed up and grab the bus for me. Gloves can go back in the middle of the console, that's fine. 20, go ahead, dismount, I'm clear. Okay, so your sag in the back is 9 millimeters, it's supposed to be 30 to 40. Wow, that's why it's so harsh. The bike was brand new, so we, I haven't ridden it much, but why don't you, I just want you to just take another look at it. What do you put on it, another thousand miles? Uh, about so, about that. Okay, please. So it's still all stock, you didn't change anything? Well, no, everything's stock, yeah. Okay, all right. So from the setup last year, we're at 30 mil in the front. So as you're going through the corner, it just wants to hop a little bit. Yeah, it feels that way. It feels yeah. like a little bit. It needs to do as it's told. Better? You got it, man. I think it's good. Well, let's see. Jump off. I'm a very annoying perfectionist, remember? Please be. I have to make sure it's correct. Please be. <laughs> what's better? I didn't have it. Yeah. I didn't have it. Jarring? It's 17, 3,500 miles. Oh, so you've had it for a while. Okay. Mostly street, any track? No track, canyons. Just canyons, okay. And because it's pushing it forward fast, there's a lot of instability in the chassis trying to get it into the corner because it's constantly doing that. So now you'll approach the corner and it'll go, and. And then you'll turn your head and it go, oh, thank you. And then you'll go into the corner versus trying to it's doing that. You can't get it in the corner. How many miles are on it? 750. Okay, so it's brand new. Is it a 17 or an 18? 18. Okay. Feet up, grab the bars. Maybe I'll be back. Okay, Simon. All right. Bottomed out. Yeah? Nice work. Still bottomed it. Are you sure? <laughs> There's no 
dust. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's no dust. There's nothing. Okay. It's clean. So you bottomed it again. Nice work. Now you're that far up. So much better. Getting plenty of track time. Yeah. Uh, what year is it? Uh, this year, 2018. 18, and how many miles are on it? 3,000. Three. Okay. How long do you plan to be in C Group? Uh, I'm Another few more days? I and was then actually planning on talking to them and potentially moving to B Group tomorrow. Okay. B Group next week with uh, Keguins? Yeah. All right. You are, uh, you'll need, by next weekend, you'll need a new rear. There is going to be a point pretty quickly here okay. where you overpower that front end. Probably by the middle of next year, somewhere around there. You do not need to go ahead and spend big money on cartridges. Okay. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com. Schedule a remote tuning appointment for you and your bike with Dave via text, email, Facebook, etc. Contact Dave on Facebook or by email, dave at davemosstuning.com.